Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you how to protect yourself from the first piece of Mac malware. Let's get started. So here's something that I never thought I would do, and I'm still kind of sketchy on this, but I'm going to show you guys how to protect yourself and what to do if you actually get your hands on this piece of Mac malware. It's kind of hard to find, but I have found it before just browsing the web. I don't actually remember how I found it, but this is true. It's been all over the news, and uh, it's a big deal. This is the first piece of malware that's really been serious for the Mac, and pretty much what malware is is a program. Well, it's a malware or a Trojan horse, whichever which way you want to see it. It's a... It's an app that pretends to be something, it's pretending to be a virus scanner, but it's not, it's just a clever way to get you to give them your credit card number. So let me go on and show you what this is. So I've got this link here I'm going to go on and put in. I'm going to move this closer to the middle of the screen here. And it, it's already started downloading. I haven't even, even done anything. It's already started downloading, and I have open safe files turned off, I think, or on. Let's check and see. I actually have it turned off, which is the thing you want to do. I think I usually keep it on, but recently I've kept it turned off to protect myself. But let's do this again. So say you just quickly navigate to this page on accident. And it's supposed to look like a finder window in case you can't tell. So we'll refresh it here real quick. And if you have open safe files turned off, what it's going to do is it's going to start downloading. And you give it a second, and it's going to automatically pop up, and it's going to ask, do you want to install the Mac Protector program? Because it's wanting to make you think that you've got all these viruses on your computer. Then we hit continue. So you've got to do all this just to get to here. You've got to hit install. It's 2.9 megabytes. And it's going to ask for your password. So now you've got to go and type this in. Okay, so it's a big deal. Now I've got to hit OK. It's running the applet, and it's installed. Now it's going to pop up and say, Mac Protect Protector World Leading Solutions. And now it's here. And it's going to mess with me. This is all fake. It's all just showing me, okay, well, this is all the viruses it's found, or it's searching through. I can stop or pause the scan, and it all looks really official, kind of. I give them credit. They've done a, a fairly good job at tricking people. Oh, and see, it's found one. That actually scared me a little bit. Let's turn that down. They already found one, and, uh, and it's just going to keep doing that. None of this is real. And if you hit clean up here, and it's going to ask me, okay, we have a registered copy to remove this. You need to buy the full version. So it's going to go in here and scan, and there we go. Now it's going to ask, okay, do you want the lifetime version? It's on sale right now for 80 bucks, and you put in your credit card information, and you're good. So the, hey, put in your credit card information, and then it's going to do nothing. Pretty, pretty much they're going to charge your credit card with God knows how much, and that's going to be your life. So pretty much what you're going to want to do to remove this. Oh, it's found another one. What you're going to want to do to remove this is go in, and as you see, there's no dock icon here. There's nothing here. There's no way to quickly go in here and remove this. There's no, you know, there's no quit button, anything like that. So what you're going to want to do is go to Activity Monitor. So go into your Spotlight. Let's get rid of this. And type in Activity Monitor. Once you've got that opened up here, pull it over here. It's this window's super weird. Let's close it. So let's open this up here. And we're going to find Activity Monitor, which the quick way to do it is just type, or, or the quick way to do this is to find Mac Protector. There it is, and we're going to hit Quit Process, Force Quit. I just don't want it there anymore. Okay, so now it's quit. It's done. We're going to close out Activity Monitor. We're going to close out this window. We're going to go to the Finder here. Go to Applications, and find Mac Protector. So I'll just hit M quickly. Go to the M's, and Mac Protector's in here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, Mac Protector. I looked right over. That's pretty cute. And you're gonna want to drag this to the trash. Okay. Well, you're not done just yet. And I've actually got Mac Keeper here. That's telling me, do you want to remove any more of the files? So I'm gonna actually hit OK. Mac Keeper is a program that does all kinds of cool stuff, and this will remove any files that goes with it. So here's some of the files that are actually going along with it, which I was actually worried we should. This will actually stay on your computer if you don't have something like App Zapper or App Cleaner or Mac Keeper. You can check out my Mac or my uh, my Cleaner, my App Cleaner video. Yeah, that's what it was. Then you're gonna want to. Then you're gonna go. You know, then you're going to want to go to System Preferences. Go to Accounts. Go to Login Items, and there's Mac Protector. Added it itself there. And and you remove that by clicking the X, and you're done. It's totally gone. There's no, It's absolutely gone. The last thing you're going to want to do here, drag these files to the trash here that it's saved on your computer. I've actually got a few of these. Let's open up the Finder window here. Let's remove all of these here. 
we get a command and we'll hit command delete to delete them go into the trash and empty it I've got a lot of stuff in there, so that'll take a minute, but this is pretty much it. It is really scary that that's the first one that's come to the Mac. It's actually a port from the PC, which I find really ironic, but that this is the first piece of malware that's for the Mac, so I really encourage you to look out for this stuff. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people that find more of this, but I'm pretty sure that as this continues, Apple will eventually catch on and start working towards stopping this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And watch my app cleaner video to help get rid of those extra files, by the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video.